Hello, my friends. Today's guess, August 28th, 2024, is a trio Sudoku by Philip Newman. This may be, actually I think it definitely is, the shortest two-hat time that we have ever had in gas. I'm not going to tell you what it is, but it will be written in the description of this video. That signals, if you're not familiar with the hat system, that this is one of the quickest solves that we have ever published in gas. So do your, do your stretches ahead of time. Philip has given us a warning and prepare to try to get through, through this one super, super quickly. It should flow really quick. Um, hopefully you find this one nice and breezy and light. So what are the rules? Normal Sudoku rules, so we're placing the digits one through nine once each in each row, each column, and each outlined three by three region. Then there are also some orange circles and some blue squares in the grid. Orange circles can only ever have the digits one, two, and three. Blue squares can only ever have the digits four, five, and six. And then of course the unmarked cells, which are just kind of plain white squares, um, can only ever contain the digits seven, eight, and nine. And the way I like to approach these is by just starting by choosing one or the other of those sets of digits, just because in this variant, it's not really possible, assuming everything is marked, for the digits 1, 2, 3, for example, to affect the digits 4, 5, 6, or 7, 8, 9 in any way. Um, they're all completely separate, and so essentially you're just solving three different miniature Sudokus instead of one that kind of is all interlocking and affects each other. So I'm just going to start with the ones, twos, and threes. So here I've got one and two seeing that cell, so that's a three, and one and two seeing that cell, so that's a three, and then that will be a two and a one. This two sees these two cells, so the two has to be in the one remaining orange circle here, so it'll go right there, and then this three places a three there and a one there, and then the one I just placed will give me a one and a two. Over here, one and three both see that, and they both see that, so those are twos. That's the last low digit here, that's the last low digit here. This three sees these cells, so that's a three. Two sees this cell, so that's a two, and that's done. And then the one I just placed disambiguates the one and three. Now just these three in the middle to go. This sees a two and a three in the row, so that's a one. This sees one and three in the column. And then that's going to be a three. Now let's have a look at the blue squares. So this five and this blue square sees these two cells, which places a five here. Similarly, four over here sees these two cells, so I'm going to place a four here. 5 sees these two, so 5 goes there. 4 sees these two, so 4 goes there. So now I have two 4s up here. So the only blue cell in the top right that's not seen by a 4 is the one I have highlighted now, so that's going to be a 4. That makes this a 4 and makes this a 6. And then that 6 sees this cell, so the 6 in this region will go here. Then the 5 and 6 I just placed disambiguate 5 and 6 in region 2. Now this 4 and 6 in this row give me a 5 here. And this will be a 6 because it sees a 4 above it, and then that's a 4. That will take care of this 4 and 6 in this region. This 6 tells me where 6 goes in region 4. This 6 tells me where 6 goes in region 1. And this 6 tells me where 6 goes in region 6. And that is all of my 4s, 5s, and 6s taken care of. Let's finish off with 7s, 8s, and 9s, shall we? So this is going to be an 8-9 pair in these two cells. And therefore, the last 7, 8, 9 digit in the row will have to be right here, and it will have to be a 7. This is going to be a 7, 8 pair. So the last 7, 8, 9 digit in this row will be right here, and it will be a 9. Now, these two digits, 7 and 9, both see this cell, so that's going to be an 8. And these two digits, 7 and 9, both see this cell, so that will also be an 8. And the fact that that's an 8 gives us some stuff, so that's now a 9 and an 8 in this region. And that 8 tells me that's a 7 and an 8 in this region. Now I need to place an 8 in this region. There's an 8 in this column, so the 8 will go there. And I need to place a... Oh, not quite. Not quite ready for that yet. I need to place a 7 and a 9 in this region, so that will be a 7 and a 9. I need a 7 and a 9 here, and I need a 7 and a 9 here. And I need a 7 and a 9 here. So my 8 in this region will go there. And then the 7 in the column makes that a 9, 7, 9, 7, 9, and 7. Here I'm going to need a 7 and an 8. And here I need an 8 and a 9. 
nice breezy solve. I hope you guys really enjoyed speeding your way through that one or slowing down and savoring it. Either way, totally up to you. No pressure. Hope you enjoyed. And if you want to solve it yourself, now that you've seen this, the link is in the description below this video. Have a good one, and I will see you in three days.